everybody welcome back it's Andrea and here I'm back for another video so I got a friend here with me today it's Ebony hey y'all hey, hey, so y'all we're gonna do a few hot topics today I want to talk about a little shit's going on in the media because she's always over me the wrong way and you know I got my wine she bought the Alize yeah, oh, the auntie drink yes. yeah she got the auntie drink with her today auntie drink mm. <laughs> so here we go and let's tune in need you for the old me need you for my sanity so y'all first thing i seen on the motherfucking internet was some raggedy ass ashy knuckled ass negro had the nerve to talk about our, be our, size, our beloved woo girl that's dead no uh, our lovely Gather trans today. actress india moore because y'all know she's in the queen of slim which I like seriously cannot wait to see her in something else. I, I love her in pose, so I'm like I was waiting to see her in something yes. else. Like and it's about time, so okay. I love her. I'm gonna reach you this person on her on Facebook, all those who use Facebook, all the ratchet aunties, the cousins, we all go to um, we go there for all the tea. Yes. So Facebook all the tea. So this nigga said I'm probably gonna post this somewhere around in here. Said Queen and Slim slid a transgender right up on y'all and ain't tell nobody a thing. Team, he says team. Cause that's how them actually act them. Anyway, if I buy a pair of Jordans, I want to know if they're real or fake. Just give me the option of knowing. If I buy a pair of I like I like I I hate that the internet has gotten to this place where people feel that entitled that they can just like easily say shit like this. They feel like it's okay. And they get like a whole bunch of weird ass Twitter banging people behind them to like Yes, and people really be in the comments going, Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew that too. Her hands was too big. Like bitch, you ain't no shit. The fuck? <laughs> you, quiet as hell, I have huge hands. And guys, I know I would never look at your hands and be like man hands. They're hands. Thank you, bitch. Like, cause there's women out there with large hands and there's women out there right. with large features. My got large hands, large feet, bad bitch. What? Exactly. Why do y'all feel the need to even come for India? Like, not even on India's level, number one. I seen him. You seen the picture? Yeah. I'm about to picture somewhere. Up he here. literally, he that. looks, he looks a little Grinchish. Grinch. Yes, you know, much we're in the season. Jim yeah. Carrey Grinch. Yes, come on, Jim Carrey Grinch. Holiday Grinch tees. He's giving very da much <laughs> You are stupid. Because it just seems like um trans people can't be presented in the media at any point in time without somebody. Without yelling. somebody, yeah. Yelling, that's a man, that's a he. Y'all not like no real me. woman. That ain't no man! <laughs> you can't even Brenda from Scary Moment was giving that. <laughs> You get over it, and that's how y'all really be in the theater. Like that's how y'all really be in the theaters. Talking about people that are trans on TV, it's like, girl, let us have our moments. So nobody's doing anything. To nobody's talk bothering you. If you're so pressed, like pressed, panini, just so angry about like shit that does not should not affect you. It does not it hurt your health. It does not hurt your spirit. None like of it. you just press, you hurt yourself. Like people like literally spend so much time trying to make an issue out of something that's not an issue. That you literally giving yourself an ulcer, like calm the fuck. Calm exactly, like damn, you need a back brace from reaching that motherfucking much all the time. Cause girl, I know your arm tired. Like literally. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm just sick of it. It's just like if we're we don't have to tell you motherfucking thing. Like we don't have to tell you we're trans if you're, we're on the screens. Like let us just live lives. Like y'all, well y'all don't say nothing about when um straight men play gay. Nobody cares. Or Queen like, Latifah and all these rom com heterosexual roles. And this bitch been she. We know we love you, Queen. We love you, Queen. But we know what's going on with Miss Latifah. Bitch, sis got a whole baby and a wife. Yes, I was saying baby and a wife. That shot the shit out of me because me and her was supposed. But don't nobody say so. nothing. Yeah. Don't nobody say not a damn thing. Like, what? Yeah. But you know whatever. Did you ever see Hustlers? I haven't seen Hustlers. I but there was a white girl in it. Trace Lissette. She's one of the two girls. She was in that movie too, but she, it wasn't announced that she was trans. Mm -hmm. She was just playing the role. Yeah. So she could have been trans and just never been like the topic of conversation or she could have been tested. Like, it's I just let like, people play roles. Right. Like, if I, did she do well in the role? Like, I, yes. Because there's a couple of like serious celebrities that I question in terms of their acting careers. That's what I was saying. I'm so sorry. I'm just saying. <laughs> It really is. It's the auntie drink. It's the auntie drink. And you got two aunties up here and acting a fool. Look, like, I feel like the media got me out. I put my hand up to my chest. Now you got me all nervous. <laughs> yes, my hand is big. Now they got, nah, now they got me like, don't girl, make me feel like I got a no. high big ass hands. Fuck you. And speaking of big asses. <laughs> Come on. We're going to go to the next topic. Next topic is, I know y'all seen Lizzo. And she had her crack all over Instagram, breaking the internet like Kim K. Yeah. Now I'm gonna throw in the picture or pictures. You can see all the money that people talk about Lizzo. No. And I love 
also. So I'm like, yes, bitch, yes, you're a slay. Seriously. Come for the big bitches. You know, come on for I the like big girls. I like to call it a certain thing. I like to call it like, like, because we're like, like tall. She's very tall like myself. And I feel yes. like we got like, like Her and Megan Thee Stallion are yes. the same height. So all y'all are the same we're, height. I can't miss Stallion. Thank you. Yes, yeah. yeah, but like, I feel like me and Liz have this thing called high step booty. Like, we got real, like, just up the sh hippie, high, booty high booty. hippie, big butts. Like, I've seen high step booty before. What do you want me to do? Most of the actually got it. They got the yes. cooking at the stove Again, with the, like, like, it's high booty. Good potato salad booty. Yeah, like. exactly. Good potato salad booty. I said pussy. Ooh. Oh, booty. Yes, I feel like people just, they're just doing too much around Lizzo. Like, y'all yeah. doing all this fat fat shit, saying all these fat fat with tweets, and it's like, but nobody cares if it would be Megan the Stallion twerking her ass, if it was Sierra's bony ass all on the stage, right. Tiana Taylor in the motherfucking fake video. Nobody said Tiana she was Taylor doing too in much. The fake video was like, it was it was, was love, like her body was everything. Was but like, if Lizzo did what <laughs> Tiana Taylor did in fake, speak on it. Like, what speak the, on it. talk about. Y'all would say she's doing they too much. They her body. Parody. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, exactly. But it's like, girl, let just let her enjoy her body. Absolutely. Let her represent for the big girls who don't see that one. Right. TV, I love who aren't the seeing representation. the representation. The re representation matters so much. Like, it matters. So much. So how do you feel about her? Like up I, here, like, like represent for the big girls. Honestly, show body positivity. Like I said, like at fr like when I when I first like got into Lizzo, I was just like so like I can't get with this. Like I don't understand how right. she could exude that much confidence to be up in fucking Burger King. Like, like bitch, how dare you be starving with all these looks? Right, and then I had to like really get into that. Like, girl, off. why are you not living for Lizzo? Bitch, are you not living for you? You know what I mean? Like, cause I want to be a bit. I want to internalize it a little bit. Cause like I'm ready to like bend over in a Taco Bell and like twerk the fuck out. Like, yes. At this point, and Lizzo makes Solo me feel ass. like, why can't I? Come like, on, fuck it up to the why, tempo. Come on, a bit. Fuck yeah, it up I to the tempo. tempo. So at this point, I absolutely live for Lizzo. I love what she represents, what she's doing, and on top of. Beyond any, beyond any of that, not on top of that, beyond any of that, mm -hmm. she's fucking talented. Like she's talented, talented as fuck. She she sounds. At the she end has of a the great day, personality. Right. She. This all makes you feel like y'all could just be like kicking it. Like, yes. Like she does like, have that vibe about like her. Like she would be sipping. Where's like, our some little guests? Like come on, girl. She would sit down and have a nice little drink on the couch with us and talk shit about y'all phony asses. Like she would be that. She you know what? Girl. And stop fat shaming girls. Yep, if you're not absolutely. gonna give it to Megan the Stallion, you're not gonna do the other girls. Bring it back. So go back around. So we're not doing that. There's no fat fat wheel over here going on. We need to quit that because you don't say shit to your fat back ass grannies. Oh, and no shade. I'm not shaming. I'm just saying. cooking grannies. Because they got so much to say. They be said got so much to say about somebody being fat, but they mama's fat. They grandma's fat. Everybody around is fat. Be fat as hell. Shit. Girl, be fat as hell, but y'all don't say nothing to them. No I wish you would say the same shit you say to Liz on her comments to your fat ass mom. To your mom. Are you gonna say it? You would have put stuff. Shit. Okay, cause you know she paying the rent. You staying in her basement you on the air mattress. You love your fat match. ass mama. Okay. Love your fat ass mama. So how the same love for Lizzo? Anyway. Okay, so the next topic we're gonna talk about. Okay, so I know y'all seen Bad Baby. You know, um, Catch Me Outside Girl. She had gotten some box braids. Honestly, the box braids was cute on her. They were cute. Yes, on her. They were cute as fuck. But of course, she had to justify her getting box, break, box braids with her tearing down black women and saying that black women, of course, are getting straight hair. I'm, actually, I'm getting that one up in here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Where? Let me do it. Where? Here. Right there, girl. Right there. Okay. Did you read it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. You seen I it? I seen it. Okay, so I, see, I seen it like twice. Like the first time I seen it, I, I had a certain thought about it. I seen it again and I had another thought about it. So she had she trying to justify the fact that her getting box faces that black women get weak. Black women have straight hair. Black women are doing these things to look more European. So she's like, so why can't I have box braids? Because you don't see me saying anything about when y'all do all that stuff. So how do you feel about the whole bad bad baby situation and culture appropriation with the white girls in general? I always want to start off the conversation by saying, anytime we get into appropriation, I want to start off the conversation by saying that I personally feel this is just my opinion. We all got opinions because we all got assholes. Exactly. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. be open to everybody, so in a sense. But I, right, you know, you got to preface that alone. But okay. I do feel like there is a thin line between appropriation and appreciation. Yes. So, in saying that, did I have a personal issue when I myself saw the box break? No. Okay. Do I think when you get us up, when, when, 
if you're if you're a white female and you get you get a set of box braids, they can look fucking amazing. Cause hers look they good. They can. They did look good on her. I do think that you almost you need to like preference yourself that everybody's not gonna agree with that. Yeah. And I think that if you have an appreciation for the culture, you'll understand why. Even if you still like, well, shit, I love them. I think love the way they could look. I like to wear them. Right. Have a respect for why people feel the way that they feel. Exactly. I also believe. Come on, buddy. Girl. Come on, buddy, girl. <laughs> Say it. Say it, girl. We here. Because like, oh, like, <laughs> it was right there, and I don't know where it went. Okay. I also think like. I also believe that when women, when African American women, women originally started wearing, you know, permanent our hair, straightening our hair, it was to normalize ourselves and as, to be accepted in the society that we weren't really accepted in. Yes, yes. Um, and at this point, it's just tradition. Like it's just something that's ha yeah, it's something that we've adapted over time. It's forced to habit. Exactly. And it's hard to break some habits. I have tried to go natural like literally four times, and each time I'm natural for about a year. All, a year and, and four months year. and then I permit like and it's because oh. I haven't found the discipline to train my hair yet because right. you have to it, it takes it does, you have to train time. your hair to do it the way you want it to do yes, it yes it like takes some serious work and I'm, I haven't been there yet so at this point in my life because I'm a woman that perms my hair um, I hear a lot of like shit, okay because I mean a lot of you are, have gone natural now right and, 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 I, and I think it's amazing but I also, and I always commend them because I know for myself that it takes it takes a lot to do, it, especially you have a coarser like texture. Yes, yeah, it, it takes I a will, lot to train it the way you want it to. You think, cause girl, you got four B that the four C's, four D girls can just do the same thing you do. That's not the case, mm -hmm. and it don't work for everybody. Everybody don't have that time. I will like do. I will wash it. You know, I do my twist outs. I'll, mm -hmm. You know. And by the but time I've take, taken my hair down and I'm like ready to wear it, it looks like I just washed it. Like it looks like I'm yeah, getting ready really. to do what the hell I just did. And I right. used to get so frustrated that I'm just like, I'm just going to perm this. When it comes to that, you can't say, you can't reference the fact that women per also yeah. wear straightened hair. Because you have to get to the root of why we started Thank straightening our hair. We're not straightening our hair to look with. European. We're not straightening our hair to look white. We're not straightening our hair to look a certain type. But we're doing it because it's... A, Sometimes it's easier to do when you don't want to deal with the fact that you have natural hair. Now, I do have to also say, there are some women, like you just never have, it's a catch 22, you'll never have an answer to that. Some women will straighten their hair because they fucking like it. Yeah, they just like let them it. like it. Let them like what they like. They like to get a lace front wig because they like it. It makes them feel good. They like to be able to. Okay, <laughs> don't nobody want to straighten your hair. So you we don't want to your hair every single day, so we'd rather just pop on a little wig for this right. cornrows and go on about our day, throw on a wig. Right. That's right literally me. I'm how you were saying about like, um, like we shaking your hair and all that stuff, because like it was like, kind of like a thing at the time. Mm -hmm. That's how it really was. Like, black women weren't getting jobs because they were saying things about us, you know, having natural hair that was right. being unkempt, unprofessional. So we had to straighten our hair. We had to get relaxed. We had we to wear the wig. We do they know. We just went and paid 15 20 dollars to get my shape up on my fro. There you go. Shit. I, I didn't went picked out the perfect earrings to compliment All my that shape shit. my face. Shit. Okay, and got there to come and say that shit's unprofessional. Like, y'all don't understand that. And I think when these girls wear the box braids and, and the kinky twists and all this other thinking, oh, well, I didn't need to look cute, but girl, you can wear that type of stuff and nobody you know, discriminate against you in a job versus the black girl who won't get hired is insane. It's unprofessional. Kept this with me, it's really weird. My great grandma always would say like, um, if your hair is nappy, why people ain't happy? So I was like, what do you mean by that? Because like sometimes like, you know, I would just have my hair picked out mm -hmm. and it'd be just a fro. And she'd be like, why you got it like that? Why it looks so nappy? Put something in there. Put some curl activator. Like she wanted to be like, because she was used to yeah. the light skin, curly, and that's you know, how pretty, the barge, mm -hmm. curl. Look, she was used to that look versus my brother. And not my brother, Chino, but it was my other brother. He's darker mm -hmm. skin. And he would have the coarser hair and she would always call his hair nappy and stuff like this. So I'm like, Little color words yes. are going in when it's yes. like this. It's they want it like this. There, and, and I want natural to look like look this. at it. Like if you look at every picture, Shit, I'm manipulated this. Shit, this don't look like this when I wake up. Yeah, I have to manipulate it to look like you this. You have to train it. Just hush up. Stop talking. Right. I mean, you can't. Yeah, don't yeah. don't appropriate and talk shit. Yeah. You know, I just love a good. I do love good culture vulture. Not gonna lie. My favorite problematic culture vulture would be Gwen Stefani. I'm just gonna say it. You know what? Because that's my cookie. She gave me luxurious. I, right, and the bitch like, wasn't even Mexican. But 
she gave it to me. I'm sorry, but she's Ooh, one of my best culture I'm, cultures. My problematic yes, phase. Yes, your problematic phase. Absolutely. I'm just defining I hate that Taylor Swift is one of my problematic phase. No! Go and don't do her year! Go and don't do her year! Yes! I said hair. Um, did you ever find it that certain hairstyles attracted certain people? Or have you ever, like, when your hair is a certain way, do you attract a different group of people? I know for me that if I have my natural hair, I get lots of compliments from women. And they're, I love uh -huh. your hair, I love your curls, I love your yeah. natural. But when it comes to men, I honestly don't get paid a lot of attention. Versus if I'll have some nice long braids or if I'll have, you know, mm. a nice lace, a nice closure, my hair done. Like When I look more, yeah, yeah. When I when my hair is more natural, when I have like braids, uh, if I when my hair is natural, if it's in a fro, I usually will. I, I was taking it like in terms of attraction. Uh -huh. I've noticed I'll attract more females. So I'm about to say, sorry. I'll attract more females. Open, I'm but be. when I wear like just like like if I ever like do like straight weave or something like that, I will right. I'll get hit on by a lot of men. And I never even thought about that until you said that. But I guess when See? I look, when but when I wear my, hair? I think it also plays a part because when I have my hair more natural and Afrocentric, I I wear more Afrocentric clothing and, mm -hmm. and colors and styles. And then when I have my hair more straight, I'm going for like a sleek. Yeah, a sleek polished kind of look. Not even polished, because I think, see, because that gets into, you know what I mean? You know? Oh, yeah, like, because you, know you know like, give it sleek but and sub Subconsciously, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but I we think. kind of associate straight hair with more a polished look. Right. It's a little anti-black, because that's going to be like, it's right. something we just had to it, deal with. Yeah, that we, we even try and break ourselves out of. But, yeah, well, and I think that's why I do that. Because when I have my hair in more natural styles, I feel more free. So I yeah. wear brighter colors, I wear different things that I normally wouldn't wear, and my style gets a little different. Whereas when I have straight hair, at this point in my life, I feel like it looks more, I look more boring. But in my head, I'm dressing more sleek. Okay. You know, sexy, right. style, you know. But I feel that. now that I think about it, I feel like I look more boring with straight hair. I haven't worn straight hair in like years. All the time, and it honestly looks good. Like me, I can't, I don't know, I'm just, you. I have a love hate relationship when it comes to my hair because it's like, I don't I always have my natural hair, of course, pre transition. So, like, I've always had a fro. So, I kind of like associate my fro with like my former self. So, I'm like, oh my God, I look too much. Because, like, when I have straight hair, I can manipulate it into where it can frame my face better to mm -hmm. look more feminine or look a lot more attractive. And I know I attract different types of people when I have straight hair. But honestly, it's not even straight hair, it's long hair. It's just long I'm a long because I will wear like my big, long, curly hair. Mm -hmm. And it'll be looking cute, so I have nothing with straight or curly. I, it just links me. And I'm natural hair. My natural hair will shrink and it'll be all the way up here. I don't feel as sexy yeah. or as attractive because I notice I get paid dust a lot when I have natural hair. And lots of men don't hate me when I have that is my the natural hair. With, with but on the men. internet, though, it happens. They're always my black queens. I want natural. I don't want you right. to have bundles. I don't want you to have this. I want you to look natural. I want you to be natural. Like I said, maybe the same they want the four B like light skin. All these pictures on the, on Facebook and sharing all this and talking all this and that on the internet, and then like in person, like in live yeah. scenarios, they will sub. And I don't think it, it, it's even intentional all the time, but they will subconsciously go for. Go ahead and wrap up. Yeah. Because the camera kept dying, so we might just go ahead and finish wrapping up. But I mean, I'm glad you came. I'm glad we got to talk here. We got to talk cultural appropriators. We got to talk all this stuff. A lot of cringy stuff. A lot of cringy stuff, but I mean, this shit had to be said. Yeah. So, we had all that to say, and we hope to see you guys next week. Bye. So, hopefully, the Auntie Alize will keep us good. Yes! <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.